This is the $300 Wonder Provoke bag. It's the 31 liter and this is the 21 liter $250 Peak Design Everyday Backpack. And they're very similar in prices and the reason why I bought the Wonder Provoke is because I can put a lot more stuff in it. It's just easier to organize. But there's one reason why you should get the Peak Design Everyday Backpack over the Wonder Provoke and here's why. If you own a camera that is a tiny bit bigger than the Sony a7R 3 that you see on the left here next to the 1DX, then you're out of luck with the Wonder Provoke because the bag is not thick enough for it to fit in it properly. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. Here's the 1DX in my Wonder Provoke. It's definitely way, way too high. The maximum height of a camera that you can put in the Wonder Provoke is 10.5 centimeters. That is the max. Anything taller than that will not fit. And here's my a7R 3 with just a cage on it and the Rode Wireless Go. And the Rode Wireless Go does not fit in the bag. My a7R 3 with the cage fits perfectly to the millimeter because you have to remember that the bag needs to be able to close afterwards, especially if you have a laptop in it and an iPad, it really needs to sit flush otherwise one will push on the other and you can damage your computer or your camera at the same time and it will also be very uncomfortable to wear it like that because it will be pushing on your back and here's the video of my friend putting the 1DX with the Sigma 18 to 35 in it and the 24 or 28 to 300 millimeter with the pouch and the Sigma 85 millimeter f1.4 into the 21 liter everyday backpack from Peak Design and everything fits perfectly in it. There's no way I could fit that into my bag because of the thickness of the camera and probably also the pouch with the lens in it. Theoretically, I could fit the 1DX in the top pouch of the Provoke, but it doesn't feel as safe as the Peak Design system. I've actually had a few things fall out of it, like a melon when I was doing grocery shopping, and I was just thankful that it was not a camera or any expensive equipment in it. So don't put anything expensive in the top compartment. And I can tell you that the Vinta 2 has a similar problem. It's even thinner than the Wonder Provoke. So same story, don't get it if you have a DSLR and don't get it if you have a mirrorless with a grip as well. I went for the Wonder Provoke over the Peak Design because I really don't like the way you put stuff in your backpack. You really can't put much stuff in it because yes, on paper, the big design looks amazing. You can put, you know, with those little flappy uh, dividers, but in the end, you really cannot put as much stuff in it as you would with the Wonder or any other camera bag that opens up all the way in the back. But the big design is great, like you saw, for just shoving your camera in it and big lenses as well, without worrying about the thickness of it because it is quite thick. But that's it for me guys hope you enjoyed it and if you want to watch the full review of the wonder provoke after using it for five years subscribe to my channel i'll be posting it very soon and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video it really helps with the algorithm and i'll see you in the next one